Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to uh, Michael Sports Rants, episode four. I'm your host, Mike Cavallo. This episode is strictly about Wild Card Weekend NFL football playoffs. Okay, uh, we're going to break down each game and each matchup and uh, a little, little about the spread and about uh, winners and losers. So I'm going to kick it off and I'm going to start talking about the uh, the first matchup is Saturday at 430. You got the Raiders at the Bengals. Bengals, the Bengals are favored five and a half in this game. And I like that. I like it. Take the Bengals in this one. I, listen, the Raiders, hell of a win on uh, Sunday night against uh, the L.A. Chargers. That was a phenomenal game. And uh, I know the momentum's going, but the Bengals, they just look good right now. They're running the ball. And last time they uh, they met each other, the Raiders and uh, the Bengals, uh, the Bengals blew the doors off of the Raiders, 32 to, uh, to 13. Mixon had 30 carries for 123 yards and two touchdowns in that game. On the other hand, Waller had seven catches for about 116 yards. So if the Raiders could slow down the rushing attack for the Bengals, they could find themselves in that game. And get get Waller going, man. And, and if Jacobs had a bad game during uh, – he didn't rush well, he didn't run well. I know he had a fumble in that game. If they could find a way um, to slow down that rushing attack and keep uh, Joe Burrow in check and slow down Jamar Chase, which is a lot to do. But if they could find ways to do that – and listen, they're uh, the Raiders are a hungry team. And they, they could find themselves in, um, in a close game and they could find uh, – if it's a touchdown or a three point uh, three point game going into fourth quarter, I like the Raiders' odds. But right now, the, uh, they got to just prove it to me. Just prove it. I think uh, I I really go with the Cincinnati Bengals on this one, and I think they cover the spread and they win by a touchdown. On to the next one. You got the Patriots at the Bills. This matchup it's Saturday Saturday prime time eight fifteen is one to watch. It's a must watch. For wild card weekend, the series is, is, is tied one one right now. You got uh, last time they play, uh, last time to play, uh, last time they played in New England, uh, Buffalo won. Yeah, they won thirty three to twenty one, and then a couple weeks back after that, or before that, I should say, uh, New England won fourteen to ten at Buffalo. So this game on Saturday is at Buffalo. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what Bill Belichick uh, comes up with because New England's offense is just not, uh, not solid right now. They had some issues against Miami last week. Um, they're hot and cold right now. I know uh, Mac Jones is a rookie, so first time in the playoffs, let's see, uh, let's see if he uh, has a little inexperience. And let's see if uh, Josh Allen can, uh, can figure it out, get that offense really going. It'll be interesting to see. It's going to be a great matchup. I think it's going to be a great football game. Uh, football game. Uh, the Bills are favored by uh, by four in that game. I think it's a field goal game. I think New England covers. It's just Bill Belichick, he's a genius. I just think he comes up with a lot of ways, and um, he uh, figures it out, and I think it's a, a field goal game either way. It can, I just think New England covers. Um, next matchup, you got Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. You got the Eagles at the Bucks. The Bucks are favorite minus nine in this game. Uh, it's this could be a question mark. It, it all depends. Can't go against Tom Brady. Tom Brady is the goat. He's the best ever. And I just don't think the Eagles have it. Have enough with it. Too. I like Jalen Hurts. I know I like. I think he's athletic and the run game's great. But I just think the Bucs are more of a complete team right now. The only question mark I have is the Bucs defense. I, I don't I don't get it. They're not playing lights out. They're not playing hungry. I, I don't know. It's not the same as last year. They they keep guys in games, and it's just a shootout. And Tom Brady, I don't think he has a, a, I don't think he has enough in his arsenal right now. Wide receivers being hurt. Mike Evans is a little nicked up right now. He's he's there, but I just don't think he has enough right now at his age to match score for score. That defense needs to come ready to play and slow down or shut down Jalen Hurts. If that happens, I think it's a blowout. I don't even think it's a game. I think uh, at least the Tampa wins by two touchdowns. But it all depends how the start of the game goes. If they start off slow, it's going to be a game. If they come out fired up and uh, they're ready to roll, 